DU uh, doesn't uh, deal with the DU um, in a very respectful way. And um, uh, Mr. President, America first, don't you think that this is going to weaken also the European Union? And why are you so scared of um, diversity in the news and in the media that you speak so often of uh, fake news and that um, things, after all, in the, uh, in the end cannot be proven? For example, the fact that you have been wiretapped by Mr. Obama. <laughs> nice, friendly reporter. Well, first of all, I don't believe in an isolationist policy, but I also believe a policy of trade should be a fair policy. And the United States has been treated very, very unfairly by many countries over the years, and that's going to stop. But I'm not an isolationist. I'm a free trader, but I'm also a fair trader. And our free trade has led to a lot of bad things happening. Uh, you look at the deficits that we have, and you look at uh, all of the uh, accumulation of debt. We're a very powerful company, country. We're a very strong, very strong country. We'll soon be uh, at a level that we perhaps have never been before. Our military is going to be strengthened. It's been depleted. But I am a trader. I am a fair trader. I am a <clears throat> trader that wants to see good for everybody worldwide. Uh, but I am not an isolationist by any stretch of the imagination, so I don't know what <clears throat> newspaper you're reading, but I guess that would be another example of, as you say, fake news. Also, ich möchte es einfach mal so. Well, allow me, if I may, to put it in the following terms. We haven't yet had uh, time to talk at a great length about economic issues, but I would so say that uh, the success of Germany in the economic area, but also on um, security and peace, um, that the success of Germans have always been one where the German success is one side of the coin and the other um, side of the coin has been European unifi unity and European integration. That's something of which I'm deeply convinced and I'm not only saying this back home, I'm saying this here, I'm saying it in the United, Na in the United States and also here in Washington in my talks with the President. Secondly, I believe that globalization ought to be shaped in an open-minded way, but also in a very fair way. Freedom of movement within the European Union, for example, is a very important element of our economic progress of peace has been for many, many decades. The European countries for many, many centuries waged wars against each other. We have to protect our external borders because, and there we have to work in, on the basis of mutual interest with our neighbors. Um, migration, immigration, uh, integration has to be worked on. Obviously, um, traffickers have to be stopped, but this has to be uh, done by looking at the refugees as well, giving them opportunities to sh shape their own lives where they are, help countries who right now are not in an ability to do so, um, sometimes because because they have civil war. I think that's the right way of going about it. And this is obviously what we have an exchange of views about. Um, but uh, my position is the one that I've just um, set out for you. I might add that we have many plants and factories coming back into the United States. Many jobs are coming back to Michigan, to Ohio, to Pennsylvania, to a lot of places where they were losing jobs. And we will have a different policy. Uh, but it's going to be a great policy for not only the United States, but a great policy worldwide. And I look very much forward to it. Kevin Cerulli. Yes, Mr. President, uh, you have received uh, the commentary uh, What exactly is the reason for unified Republican Party? Uh, and then in terms of trade, uh, what areas of common ground do you think you have well, Kevin, I think we have a very unified Republican Party. After all, we have the presidency, we have the House, we have the Senate. And we're getting along very well, I will tell you. And if you would have were at the meeting that I just attended, where we took 12 no's or semi-no's, no yeses, and within a short period of time, everybody was very much on board. And a commitment to vote yes. Uh, I think we have a very unified party. 
I think I'm actually more unified than even the election. You see, when they, they talk about me, I seem to be very popular, at least uh, this week, within the party, because we have our highest numbers, uh, the highest numbers that I've ever had in the party. So I think there's a great unification. Uh, Health care is a very, very difficult subject. It's a very complex subject, and it's a subject that, you know, goes both ways. You do something for one side, and the other side doesn't like it. But it's really something that's come together very well, and I think it's going to be very, very popular, extremely popular. On trade uh, with Germany, I think we're going to do fantastically well. Right now, uh, I would say that the negotiators for Germany have done a far better job than the negotiators for the United States. But hopefully we can even it out. We don't want victory. We want fairness. All I want is fairness. Uh, Germany's done very well in its uh, trade deals with the United States, and I give them credit for it. But — and I can speak to many other countries. I mean, you look at China, you look at uh, virtually any country that we do business with, it's not exactly what you call good for our workers. I mean, you look at the horrible NAFTA transaction. NAFTA has been a — disaster for the United States. It's been a disaster for companies, and in particular, it's been a disaster for the workers. A lot of the companies just moved. But the workers are strewn. It's probably the reason I'm standing here. Maybe, number one, that, and maybe the military, building up our military, which we will do, and we will be stronger than ever before, and hopefully not have to use it. But we will be stronger, and perhaps far stronger than ever before. But it's probably the reason I'm here, is when you talk about trade. So I think that we are going to be a very different country. I think we're going to be — we're going to have great values. But in terms of our military, it's going to be much stronger. And our trade deals are going to be good, solid deals, not deals that lead to closing plants and tremendous unemployment. Okay? Thank you. Yes, ma'am.